Yeah, yeah. Jesus answered. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, no one comes to the Father except through me. Whoa. John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. John 14, verse 6. Ah, uh, here we go. friends welcome to ICC Nairobi kids here online this month we're learning about love and we all know that God is love today's topic is the greatest sacrifice now have you ever had something and then you felt like you needed to give it to someone like something you really really love and you want to give it to someone that is called sacrifice so let's define what sacrifice is sacrifice means to give something up that is important or valuable to you for something else that is even more important so sacrifice is giving someone something that is valuable to you to someone else because it will mean so much it means that you are able to sacrifice and in the Bible we know very many stories of people who sacrificed can we name a few I can't hear you. Yes, God sacrificed his only son, another person. His name starts with letter A, Father Abraham. Yeah, today's story comes from the book of Genesis and we're going to go through the story of Abraham. See, Abraham and his wife, Sarah, had waited for a child for many, many years. And God promised him that he's going to be a father of many nations. But imagine you've waited for something for so many years and then someone promises you, hey, you're going to get it. But it seems like so many years have passed by, you're never getting it. So sometimes you might give up, but Abraham still had faith that he was going to be a father of many, many nations. Sarah became pregnant and she bore a son and his name was Isaac. And Abraham loved Isaac so much because he's a son that he had waited for for so many years. Can you imagine waiting for something and then it happens? You would love it so much, right? It means that Isaac was of value and he and, and Abraham valued his son so much and he loved him lo lots. So what happens is when you sacrifice something, you don't just sacrifice something that you don't like. You sacrifice something that is of a lot of value. You sacrifice something that you love so much. So God asked Abraham, hey, I want you to give me an offering and a sacrifice. And Abraham asked, what sacrifice? And God said, I want you to give Isaac as a sacrifice. Imagine someone asking you to give off something that you love so much as a sacrifice. At first, I'm sure you'd be like, no, I don't want to give you this. Maybe I can give you something else, but my, my favorite shoes, no, why would I give you this? But I, Abraham did not say no to God. 
He said yes, and I will sacrifice. And God told him to go to a certain place and offer Isaac as a sacrifice. And that's what Abraham did. He went to a place and just as he was about to sacrifice Isaac, an angel appeared and he said that, you know, Abraham, you're a great man and you have obeyed God and God has seen your heart. But there's a ram uh, that has been prepared for this sacrifice. He went and took a ram and came and he offered the sacrifice. And we see in this story that Abraham obeyed God, that we also should obey God. When God tells us and instructs our hearts to give the less fortunate that we should give, even if it's something that you really, really love, that we should learn to give and offer sacrifice because God gave us the greatest sacrifice. You know who that is? Is Jesus. God gave us Jesus that we can have eternal life. When we believe in Jesus, we have eternal life. So in our daily lives, we can learn to be like Abraham who gave off, you know, who was ready to give Isaac as a sacrifice. Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for Memory Bus. Hi guys, today's Memory Bus comes from the book of John chapter 3 verse 16. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Enjoy! Wow, what a time of saying the memory verse. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you know this memory verse because if you don't know, what are you doing? John chapter 3 verse 16. It says, good job. I hope that you really know how to say this memory verse because it shows us God's love for all of us. It shows us that his love is so great that he gave us his greatest gift. Who is? Jesus Christ. So today's lesson was all about love and this whole month we're learning about love and my encouragement to you or my friendly advice to you is that wherever we go we should show love to people whoever we are with we should show love to them that even with our parents our sibling yes that big brother of yours and that big sister of yours you should love them your cousins your family your grandparents your friends, your schoolmates, your teachers, Sunday school friends, your teachers, your church, that we should learn how to love people. Love people who look different than you. Love people who, you know, are less able to know them, right? Love them. Don't think, oh my God, they're so different. I don't want to be with them. No, we should love them. So love each and everyone. Pray for them. You know, how can we show love? By being kind, praying for them, sharing, you know, sacrificing. Because today we're learning about sacrifice. So that is my friendly advice from me to you. Now, let us pray. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for the sacrifice you gave for us on the cross so that you can be forgiven. Help me to live for you and share with others about the good news. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today as we've learned about the greatest sacrifice who is Jesus Christ. And we've also gone through the story of Abraham and Isaac and we've seen how Abraham sacrificed his son. So let's go out there and love on others, okay? Just like God loves you and me. All right. So see you next week. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Peace.